In today's video, we're gonna be exploring nine game-changing AI tools that will actually help shortcut tasks that we're probably spending hours and hours every week doing. For me, this is tasks like coding and building websites, creating videos, researching, and automating pretty much any task that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Knowing about these nine AI tools will put you in front of 99% of the population and give you a real unfair advantage. And you'd be glad to know that none of today's nine tools I'm gonna to mention are ChatGPT. I've added the links to all of today's tools in the description down below and I've even put in a bonus 10th tool at the end of today's video so be sure to stick around. With that being said let's jump into the first tool on today's list. Today's first tool is just so important if you run a business, if you're trying to scale a product or if you're just trying to grow on socials period. This tool is called Clipyard. With Clipyard you can actually use their proprietary AI image models, one called Real and one called Vibe or you can use Image GPT or you can use Flux to actually generate a realistic AI influencer and then you can pass them to the motion or video side of Clipyard and you can either create a gesture based video to grab attention like one of these or you can actually upload your own script and then use their really great lip syncing tool to have them read out that script just like you might with a real human user generated content creator. Now for us this has meant we've been able to use their batch tool to create batches of these videos, experiment with small tweaks to the different scripts, experiment with tweaks to the voices to the different creators and it just allows our performance marketing marketing team to concretely revolutionize what they're doing at a fraction of the cost. Outside of the AI avatar component of Clipyard, there's also a product or kind of faceless image and video generation component, which uses, again, tools like Flux or Imagine or ByteDance's models and VO3 to create these really realistic AI videos that you can then put onto socials. They do also have a TikTok scheduling tool, and I believe they've got an ad intelligence system coming so that you can actually do all of your research in the platform. Pricing is geared more towards business than hobbyists so it starts at 67 pounds per month for 15 videos and 50 images and then it kind of scales up from there but if you're already spending a big ad budget it's definitely worth checking out and it saved my team a ton of time next up is another tool that's just completely revolutionized my week and it's claude code it's the first agentic coding assistant and i felt comfortable handling entire refactors with it you can just drop in a repo link and it then reads our project structure generates context aware patches and even writes unit tests for us. I actually use it alongside our next tool, spoiler alert, which is Cursor, whenever I'm coding anything. And for me, when I first started off building my businesses, I actually coded everything myself using a combination of Visual Basic Studio and command line interfaces, and it took me ages. And I'm still not the best coder out there, but with Claude Code, I've been able to create things like full-blown iOS apps, I've created Next.js web apps, and I've also created smaller little bite-sized apps that we've used in some of our marketing on on Verti to bring people in. So this is useful things like, for example, a summarization tool, which we can quickly create in Claude and output this in HTML to our website. And the best part about Claude code is it's actually probably better than most junior developers that I've ever worked with. So if you do run a business and you're looking to reduce your development cost or just speed up the effort of your more senior developers, then you can give them a subscription to Claude code and let them fly. Okay, tool number three has come under quite a lot of pressure because of some of its pricing changes recently, but I still absolutely absolutely love it and it's called Cursor AI. It's a fork of Visual Basic Studio and it's been my coding partner since probably around about March of this year, allowing me to create some absolutely amazing web apps and iOS apps that I've done to be honest just for fun, but also for plugging into my business so that we can do some quick experimentation, look at new ideas in a fraction of the time and at a fraction of the cost of devoting actual human developer effort to this. Now Cursor's got two real killer features in my opinion. One is basically the kind of tab function that lets cursor rewrite selected blocks. You can kind of press tab twice and then it predicts the next few lines. If you're actually writing code as a developer, this will save you so much time. The other side is then the conversational agent interface where if you're not particularly good at coding, you can just type in what you want, even upload an image, and then it will punch out a whole host of code itself. Now you've got to be a little bit careful with this in my experience, um, but you can choose the models you want to handle both of these tasks. So I typically use, again, the Anthropic models. So I will use things like Claude Sonnet 4, uh, sometimes Opus. With Cursor's new pricing, it used to be that they had everything unlimited on the pro version. They've switched that up. So now it's a little bit less bang for your buck. And some people have gone a little bit crazy about this online. So it's definitely worth exploring before you spend too much money on it because those token costs can ramp up if you're building a massive app by yourself. But in my experience, it's still a lot less expensive than a developer who might not even be that good themselves compared to an AI tool. 
tool and for senior developers it's going to save you so much time i use it all the time and it's definitely worth checking out my essential tool number four is perplexity and particularly with max and the comet browser so perplexity has pretty much replaced google for 90 percent of my research and the new max plan pipes our queries through front-end models like openai 03 and claude opus 4 while the just launched comet browser lets us chat with any page compare specs or summarize white papers in line i use this all the time for things like social listening so for example when i'm doing research i might switch on the reddit feature or the kind of social search feature and it allows me to do things like look at what customers are talking about online about us or com our competitors and then bring that into things like marketing plays and really just use perplexity as a tool that consolidates all of my research a lot of my friends who are still in medicine are using this for things like actual academic research and they're using it again all the time just as a quick example of this when i was recently scaping out some new product features i jumped in i fed comet three competing potential products that we were going to go after and optimize our own product verti against and then i got a matrix of pros and cons and pricing in a matter of seconds something that three four years ago would have taken me at least a couple of days to do myself or a team of our research marketers to do at cost so definitely saves time definitely saves money and definitely worth checking out ai tool number five that's going to blow your mind is notebook lm which is gemini powered and it's from google i regularly pop in things like pdfs meeting transcripts and calls and even messy brainstorm notes that i keep in a notebook and then the gemini model builds a knowledge graph that i can then interrogate with plain conversational language so as an example recently i had a client call where we did a sort of workshop and we were looking at things like key performance indicators we were looking at how they were using ai and different tools within their business and we recorded all this and then i was able to take that recording transcribe it put it into notebook lm and then ask it a series of questions get it to change that up and we even created a cool interactive podcast for some of our marketing team just to kind of engage them a little bit more around that workshop and that conversation to really kind of spur some ideas and creativity it's really fun to use it's really great and because it's from google they're going to keep adding in features and it's going to get even better essential mind-blowing tool number eight is n8n i use ai automation all the time and it saved me so much time every single week on tasks that used to take me ages i use it for everything from scheduling things on socials to editing and even some business workflows too now automation is great but sticking gpt responses into something like zapier often feels a little bit like duct tape and a little bit you know two three years ago n8n's ai nodes completely fix all that it's one of the fastest growing ai platforms out there and it's really not an ai platform inherently itself it's more automation so i will do things like building out these n8n workflows where i can put in perplexity summaries i can put in 11 labs audio or a notion database into a single flow and then trigger it with a command from let's say slack or my mobile phone and then in the result i might get a morning digest mp3 summarizing some of the latest ai news i might get a social post for linkedin to help me scale my linkedin and all of it is done automatically through a series of steps in n8n's platform now pricing here starts at 20 dollars a month for hosting with n8n but you can also self-host and they've got a really cool startup package which we actually use at my company verti 100 percent worth diving into the only caveat i would say here is it's a little bit technical so do check out some of my workflow and ai api videos as well as some other ones that are out there in order to really master it tool number seven that's going to completely blow your mind is leonardo ai and particularly their flow state i use leonardo's model selection for image generation for socials and for our marketing and they've recently added in flow state modes that streams dozens of style consistent variations from a single prompt what i've done before in the past is kind of roughly sketch a mascot for a business in procreate feed it into flow state and within a couple of minutes we've got a dozen polished poses ready for marketing it's also got built-in upscaling image editing via context and openai's gpt1 models and more recently they've also added in video motion to then start animating your images as well it's a really great all-in-one image and video solution and again 100 percent worth checking out mind-blowing ai tool number eight that i use all the time is opus clip and specifically opus clip 3. whenever i finish any of these long form youtube videos or if i do a webinar then what i'll tend to do is try and build out a week's worth of shorts from that long form content and to do this i typically run it straight through opus clip rather than manually doing this or getting one of our editors to do it the new 3.0 release adds an ai b-roll generator which is insane to add in b-roll to your existing footage it also adds in clip anything for frame accurate highlight detection and an upgraded virality score that ranks every cut on hook strength pacing and trend potential so that you know what might take off on socials i usually keep clips that have a score above 70 as they almost always outperform the rest in 
in the tests that I've done online. And OpenClip is really great. Our editors use it all the time for just saving tons and tons of time. Mind-blowing AI tool number nine is a little bit of a cheat because it's not so much of an AI tool that does something, but it's more of a space to go to really get inspired and keep up to date. And it's called Hugging Face and specifically Hugging Face's hub and spaces. So whenever I need to know what's next, I just open Hugging Face to get my latest AI model fix. From Mixtral 12 by 22 to the more recent Reachy mini desktop robot, the hub is where new models land first. I tend to fork demos and spaces and tweak a couple of gradient lines and then share prototypes with the team before we do anything. Just as a really practical example here on Hugging Face, last month we used a community Laura to fine tune a medical dialogue model for a client without any GPU costs or setup headaches. And you can actually go down a real rabbit hole of identifying models, forking them, hosting them on your own Hugging Face account and then sharing them with other people. It's really great and definitely worth diving into. Now I just wanted to give a bonus 10th tool because I find this super exciting and I've just recently come across it and it's called Refusion 2.0. And if you need bespoke background music but don't want to dig through stock libraries, then Refusion 2 lets me type lo-fi synth wave at 85 beats per minute with a gentle rainfall or something like that in the prompt. And then we get a seamless royalty-free loop in just about 10 seconds. It even live remixes while the track plays. So during live streams, you could keep Refusion running in a browser tab and then automatically tweak it as it's playing, which is pretty nuts. If you're into AI audio, I've started using this more and more and it's really, really fun. So that was nine AI tools that would completely blow your mind and save you tons of time every week. I also added in a bonus tool at the end, which I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know which tools you use in the comments below. I've popped up another video over here looking at even more tools for you to jump into right now. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.